Hi, I'm Trevor Williams with Global Atlanta, and we're here with John Wallace, who is the chairman of the United States Panama Business Council um, Southeast Chapter, and the organization just launched here in Atlanta. Um, so, Mr. Wallace, can you tell us a little bit um, about your role in the organization and some of your um, agendas going forward here? I'd be glad to. Thanks for having me today. Uh, the U.S. Panama Business Council Southeast Chapter, uh, our role is to bring together all of the different players who have uh, business interests in Panama, whether they're importers and exporters out of the U.S. or they're large corporations, um, to have a, a clearinghouse that they can all go th through and to uh, to get information about how to expand their business in Panama mm -hmm. in cooperation with the, the uh, Panamanian government and Panamanian private industry that's involved in the same businesses that they are. So what would you say to people around the Southeast, um, why Panama? Why, why would you uh, consider even investing there or um, thinking about um, promoting these synergies between the Southeast and Panama? Well, Panama is the, is the crossroads of the Americas and with the expansion of the canal, uh, the canal it, it itself, mm -hmm which already operates uh, some 14, 15,000 vessels going through it every year. Uh, it greatly affects, if you're an importer or an exporter in the U.S., what goes on with the canal. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the free trade zone, mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're the tourism industry that's expanding uh, an enormously. Mm -hmm. they're, also in Panama, you know, it's, it's, it's still the currency is the U.S. dollar. It's a stable economy, stable politically, and it's, and it's a great place to invest. And uh, that's why we have linkages with uh, folks like the, the, the U.S. Department of Commerce and the American Panamanian Chamber of Commerce, where you can find out uh, information as simple as how do I open a checking account and start a business there to um, you know, much more complicated elements of your business. Right. Talk about that, that kind of range um, between the members that you'd like to see uh, become a part of the organization. You mentioned someone who's just opening a bank account, but um, what's kind of the, the breadth of the membership base going to be as you move forward? Ideally, we'd like to have as members anybody in the Southeast who has any connection to Panama uh, because it, it not only are the southeastern states we, we represent, which is Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, and South Carolina, uh, cover such a vast area and the millions of people that are there, but uh, we want to have it to be members who are the large corporations who have direct interest, uh, who will have different wants and needs than somebody who is an importer and exporter. And that's why we're going to um, uh, segment mm -hmm. a different focus per industry and per group so that everybody's included in, uh, in what we want. And a lot of that is able to be done not by us constantly going around to seeing everybody, which almost gets to be impossible, but by the, the internet, technology, mm -hmm to be able to get information uh, out to the populace who wants to know about how do I do fill in the blank right. in Panama. And something uh, Ambassador Sosa mentioned at the lunch the other day was the fact that you know one in ten business organizations are, succeed pretty much, nine out of ten <laughs> fail and that seems a bit daunting in the, nas the nascent stages of um, your, your um, organization's growth. So what do you think will be the key to um, keeping the development of the organization um, going strong. I think it. I think this organization already has um, a great deal of support from not only not only the U.S. government, mm -hmm. um, but in the but the Panamanian government. And if you look at the boards of uh, U.S. Panama Business Council USA mm -hmm. and U.S. Panama Business Council in Panama. It's, it's filled with the leaders of industry and uh, ex-ambassadors, et cetera, from both countries, so that the infrastructure is really already there with an, inf with an organization that's, that has made it for more than a dozen years, and we're a chapter of that, but mm -hmm. supported by it. So, so I'm, I'm really not worried about that aspect of it. You were mentioning earlier um, the fact that some people 
uh, when you go to Panama to conduct business, uh, might not understand um, why, or, or might not, in comparison to other Central American countries, understand why you're going. Um, is, do you think there's an awareness um, issue with maybe just normal American citizens, and how can the organization remedy that? Well, I, I think there is. Uh, uh, there's a lot of advertising that goes into uh, from from whatever country you're talking about uh, that that mainly is focused on tourism. I think the people who are in business that have to do with the canal certainly are very well aware of of Panama, and that's not the issue. It's more in a tourism uh, type focus. With your you're saying the sort of the man on the street about what's Panama and, and why would I want to go there, et cetera. And part of that uh, is an is an educational process that we have, uh, both educational on a, in a marketing kind of sense and also educational literally, uh, and that's a, a little bit away from your question, but we do have the support of, of entities such as Florida State University that's been in Panama for 50 years and the University of South Carolina Business School, an alma mater of mine, um, and Georgia Tech, uh, three institutions just right off the bat, uh, who want to have further programs in Panama, uh, have exchanges, teacher-student exchanges. So literally part of our organization is on education uh, of Panamanians. And so that's a long-term project, but it, it, it has been going on and will help uh, those in, the, in, in Panama and also give them awareness uh, to the people in the states too, but on, on a marketing level for tourism, that's obviously an industry that we are paying a lot of attention to too, to make people more aware of what's going on down there. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks so much for having me.